sabe que no pasa nada Que todo ha estado bien Que fue un sueño y desperté Pero en mi interior siempre gritaban Todas penas que quería ser curadas Yo quiero amarme también Algún día lo lograré Lo lograré Lo lograré Saldré de esta Lo lograré Lo lograré Okay, so today we are here Babada Mountain Babada Mountain which is located here in all of Denise which is uh, near Fatia or part of Fatia, which is in the southern part of Turkey, which is in the Mula province of Turkey. So this is part of the uh, turquoise coast or what they call the Turkish Riviera. So stop is going to be within uh, 1200 meters um, from ground level so we will stop there and uh, this is a very famous place to come to uh, for various different reasons there's some wonderful restaurants over here um, there's wonderful things to do over here which we will shortly show you and the most famous thing that is done over here is that it has an elite a world-class level of uh, paragliding that comes over here which attracts a lot of tourists and uh, if you look at various vlogs or a lot of various blogs as well, where you have written blogs, you see that this uh, paragliding uh, by people who are very, very uh, used to doing paragliding um, have ranked this as at number one position. Many have ranked it in the top five and in the top 10. So it's a very elite uh, place to come to, to do some paragliding. So this over here is all of the needs. This is the most famous part. Like if you see any pictures of Ola Denise or any videos of it, this is the first thing that they will show you. Um, I don't know if, if the camera can actually show you from here, uh, but what I'm pointing at is actually the place that they show you. Uh, this uh, Ola Denise is surrounded by eight islands. So if you come over here, there's many different water sports activities that you can uh, do here when you come here. So very excited and I'll see you at 1200 meters. Okay, so we reached uh, 1200 meters. You can see over here, 1200 meters it says. Um, we got out, but then the lady told us that uh, keep continuing up with the cable car. So there is a stop here, but that's if you want to go to the restaurant over here. Um, as I got out, it was it was very cold uh, because obviously we are 1,200 meters above the ground. So now what we're doing is we're just going up a little bit more and let's see um, how high above ground level we go. All right, so something interesting. Um, you can see that there's like this hiking trails here. So. Obviously, it's a very, very high walk up. Like, um, I don't know who's gonna actually attempt that, but it looks really cool. Like, if you're here for like a long time, uh, maybe you can attempt the hiking over here. So it's very, very steep. Uh, you'll obviously, you, you'll need your hiking sticks to do so, but look down, look down. And wh whatever you can see from, from this view, uh, there's obviously, we've come from 1200 meters above that and we're going above now. So there's a lot to walk up, but it must be very, very enjoyable. I'm looking at some of the people that are doing paragliding and looking at the breathtaking scenes, I just can't imagine or you know comprehend what they must be experiencing as they're flying. Look at this, absolutely incredible. The vastness of the trees over here. And what I like about this place is, um, is that there's so many mountains that are not just you know, towards the end of the sea or something, they actually come in between the city and the town. That's why um, what I've noticed, what I've noticed over here in, in all of Denise and in Fatia is that it's, it's cool when, when it's nighttime, when it's um, uh, the morning, it's very, very cool here. So it's not like, um, like Alanya or Antalya where it's uh, very humid over there, very humid. Here, it does get very hot, but when it's morning, when it's, uh, when it's daytime, when it's uh, nighttime, when it's evenings, and also when you get high altitude, it's very, very cool over here. So you do need like, that's why I've, I brought my denim jacket um, down below. I couldn't actually walk with this because it was too hot, 
but I need this now. Okay, so one thing I've, I've noticed right now is that, um, you know, you can begin to see these clouds now. So this is how high up we've become. This is how high up um, we've reached now that you can see the clouds. You can actually see some of the people doing um, uh, the paragliding and they're actually going into the clouds as well. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful sight to see. And we're getting close, very, very close. We're getting very close. Um, this is such a big, I, I didn't actually imagine this um, cable cars to be of this distance, like this high and this far as well. I, I thought maybe it might uh, not be so so high because I've, I've seen quite a few videos for, for the past six months or so. Um, and it never quite appeared like this, but um, I'm surprised. Uh, but pleasantly surprised because obviously this, you know, incredible scenes, 360 degrees. Wherever you tilt your head, you see <laughs> incredible scenes over here. So we reached uh, 1700 meters above ground and it's uh, time to come out. Oh, look at it. Wow. Look at the cloud. We're just surrounded by clouds over here. Oh, wow. Ah, and look at this. This is the spot. This is the very spot where, where the paragliding takes place. So you have to come here and then you, you do a little bit of a run. You run and then it gives you momentum and you start flying. So look how high you have to come up to be able to do this. Very interesting is that there's also these uh, mini carts that take you up to like another 100 meters and up there is like a restaurant so we'll be trying to sh we'll be showing you that um, and look at this you have this is different various different points where you know you can do different things like the 1700 meters is where you can do the paragliding also 1800 meters as well there's a terrace there's taco bar tapas burger house grill chairlift all of that sort of stuff so uh, let's enjoy the views You know what? It's getting a bit cold here. I didn't bring, I didn't bring like a hoodie, bought like a denim jacket. But the clouds kind of come out, and I have to go a bit more up by 100 meters. So it's time to freeze even further. So see you up there. All right. So I've made it onto this mini cart over here. We are 1,700 meters above ground, and uh, we're going 100 meters above now. I think above, 100 meters above, is um, another restaurant. There's a few restaurants up here. So there's like burger restaurants, there's um, pizza restaurant, there's different dining uh, options over here. Actually, now I'm kind of looking, I'm looking down. This actually reminds me a bit of a roller coaster for some reason. I've never actually sat on one of these ones, even though I've been on many cable cars, but not, a, not on these um, smaller ones. I don't know if you can see behind me, there's um, some other ones. It's, it's, the good thing is that we've come a bit early. So even though it's midday, there's not that many people here. So when I look at the videos, you find a lot of people come here when it's like evening time, um, perhaps with the dining as well. And uh, obviously this is a relaxing uh, beach holiday. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of people maybe sleep late uh, and wake up late as well. So I think in, in, that, in that regard, it kind of works like that.
All right, so um, we've come up to this point where we took these mini carts and it's um, 1800 meters above the ground. And this is another point, this is the second point that we found over here, uh, where you can do paragliding from. So you would see um, in the images that we are showing you, um, the second uh, part. So there's also another part. And I think that when people come up here, um, they come privately. So what happens is that you go to the beach, like when you're down, not up on the mountains here, and you actually arrange uh, someone to do the paragliding for you. So what happens is that they pick you up from the beach, they pick you up from, from the bottom, and they drive you up um, uh, with their van to come up here, and then you do the paragliding. And uh, it looks amazing. There's some people that, that look a little bit intimidated by this. Um, and obviously there's different levels to this. There's different people of different skill level. Uh, there are some complete beginners who need an, an expert to be besides them. There are experts as well. I think those are the ones that privately get to go even higher. So you can see over here that there's even a higher spot, uh, but it doesn't come within our ticket. So we can't actually show you that bit. Um, so hopefully, um, Inshallah, when I get a chance to do my paragliding, I'll be able to show you um, the highest point. If not, uh, then it's fine. All right, so we're going down to the restaurant now. Uh, this is the whole um, cafe area well, over here. We'll show you later on. And here is uh, where we have our meal with a world-class view. So I'll show you that coming up now. Right, guys so quite excited this is the uh, chicken and roasted aubergine pasta so i can see uh, the cheese on on the you know the views are wonderful over here the service was incredible the cooking was incredible the flavors uh the taste and the service like um i can wear this so this this red blanket i got this because it's kind of um cool up here so they have many many blankets over here so if you get a bit cool First and foremost, I would actually advise you guys to bring hoodies and a bit of like jackets if you can. We had like some very heavy equipment. We have like a lot of camera gear that we have to bring. So obviously, um, I was like, okay, let's not bring so much. I just bought this denim jacket, but it wasn't enough. I bought my shorts. I was wearing my shorts today. So there's so many blankets. I've got one for up here and one maybe for my shorts. So I need to get another one. Um, so the whole service, it's a whole package really. It's a whole package coming up here. Whole service, the whole package, 10 out of 10. Uh, the views, like, what, what, what's 10 out of 10? Okay, let's, let's speak about the different levels, the different um, facets of why it's 10 out of 10. Let's go from, let's look at one aspect of it. We look at um, the views, the views. Like, you've got the views over here, where this is the actual spot where the paragliders uh, do, their, do their takeoff from. So they run, and then they just fly. Um, then you've got the best beach that I've ever been to. And I've been to many, many countries. I've been to some of the most exotic islands um, on this planet. But this is perhaps the best beach, the best views, the best scenes I've ever seen. Then coming up to this mountain, um, you know, just, well, you can see one of the paragliders right now, you know? But in addition to that, just coming up over here and even the seating area, the quality of it, you know, the whole service, the whole atmosphere, the music. Then obviously, if you go to the aspect of the food, the, the cooks are elite. You can tell, look, we've got, a, we've got a food channel. We know about cooking. But these are elite cooks um, that have, you know, they've cooked it so well. Um, the flavors are just so, there's like a burst of flavor when you take each bite, each morsel of food and you put it into your, your mouth, you know, your, your, your taste buds. Um, is going through a roller coaster of of just wonderful flavors. So then you know you got this tea over here, like the whole experience, the pricing, the pricing is oh my days. It's not, you know, if this was in London for a place like this, you know, this is the reason why I say that London is sometimes charges you ten times more for ten times less. You come to a country like Turkey, you pay ten times less for ten times more. Let me show you a little bit around the restaurant. Okay, so you've got this wonderful you know, this, this seating over here, you know, with cushions. And the good thing is, I, I actually took off my blanket, which I showed you, uh, which keeps you warm, so you can actually sit down. One second, I'm losing my balance. So you've got these nice uh, tables over here. The best tables that you can get is um, one of these ones over here. 
So if you sat over here, right in the middle of the, of the restaurant, you get some of the most outstanding views you can possibly imagine. So it's um, definitely worth coming over here for that. But look, look at the view. What can I say? What can I say? I'm just, um, ever since um, I've come up here, I think about four or five hours ago, um, you know, you have to come up. So in order to come up, you have to come up um, this, um, these cable cars. And uh, ever since I've come up from there, I've just been, um, you know, very, 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 I've just been mesmerized by, by this place. Like you've got these, um, I don't know, it, it, it actually looks like dumbbells, you know, some dumbbells. So I don't know if you can kind of get like a pre-workout before you, oh look. So you see throughout the day, you just see paragliders. Like this is not just one, you see many, I, I must have seen like a hundred by now. It's just a little bit cool up here, but I, I actually love it. I actually love it because we've been away from London for like, um, for over a month now. And uh, for the past like uh, two weeks, I was in a very, very humid place, which is in Alanya in the province of Antalya. And also, in order to come here, you have to go upstairs and you can see a bridge, okay? So you have to walk across the bridge um, and then you can come to this um, restaurant. Now, this isn't the only restaurant over here. Now, this is 1700 meters above sea level, but there's an, another one which is 1200 meters. So when you come on the cable cars, what happens is that when you come here, the first stop is 1200 meters. And over there, you have another restaurant that you can go to. Now there's different types of restaurants. Like if you go 1800 meters, which is like 100 meters above from here, and you go in one of those mini carts that you can see there, um, what it will do is it will take you to another restaurant. It's like a burger restaurant. This one's more pasta and it's got more like salads and it's got pizza. And I, I, I was like to my family, let's have, let's sit down over here and have this. So very, very, um, very, very glad that we came to this particular spot. I'm sure it's got the best spot as well. I mean, the best views from this, um, from this level. Alright guys, so this is Barbara Teleferic. Uh, teleferic, I should have mentioned in the start, stands for cable cars in Turkish. My ending thoughts of coming to this place, perhaps my favorite, my most memorable, well, obviously I'm just coming off of it, but it has to be my most memorable uh, cable car journey. Okay, so the day's arrived, it's uh, time to paraglide. Um, I woke up about, I think, two and a half or three hours ago, and I anticipated the guy that actually takes you to the paragliding, because I'm going paragliding right now, um, that he's gonna be coming earlier. So I just couldn't sleep. It's very, very cold in the morning as well, you know, even though it's like a, like a hot area. Um, obviously we're surrounded by mountains. And uh, well, he's gonna be coming anytime soon now, maybe within 10 minutes. And it's time for me to paraglide, something that I've wanted to do, and not just do, but do it in this area. Do it in all of Denise. Uh, in Fethiye, in uh, the southern region of Turkey, because it is, um, some have said that it's the best one on, on the planet, and many have put it in the top five and top tens, because um, you can do paragliding any, anywhere, but the views that you get over here are in, incredible, and what I saw yesterday when I we went to Babaza Mountain, it made me realize why people think this way and say this. So it's best to do something like this that I've never done before, um, in a place where, where you're surrounded by uh, such beauty, such immense beauty. So um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm
so I did my paragliding in the morning and uh, it was actually the same, this very same beach that I landed in. This beach is so amazing. When you look from the aerial view, it's incredible. Nothing like what I've seen before. And uh, I actually landed over there. I landed, I'm pointing over there, but it's not so far. What it is, it's just like, uh, it's barely even a two minute walk. It's like a one minute thing. Um, the landing was quiet. I was kind of thinking, uh, how, how do you land? You know, for many years, how do you land when you do paragliding? But the landing was quite uh, good in the sense that we landed perfectly. I didn't land perfect in the sense that I kind of, um, I sat on the floor and the guy told me to make sure you stand up. I didn't stand up and then I kind of was on the floor. So, but he, he didn't really mind. So all in all, there's so much to do over here. Paragliding, there's um, different water sports activities over here, like snorkeling you can do, you can do jet skiing. You can go into these boats that um, we're showing you. So, and also you can just relax over here. Like the, 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 the scenes here, are just amazing. Because we've only got about two days over here in, in Ulu Denise, uh, we had to make the most of it. It was a bit, you know, rushed. Like most of our trip, because we're bringing, this, because we're bringing you this content, you know, hence we expect you guys to like, you know, like our videos and comment and share and, you know, do all of that sort of stuff and subscribe to our channel. It goes without saying because we put in so much effort. Like we come to these wonderful exotic places, but we don't actually get to relax like that, you know, because we are constantly shooting this, this content for you guys but there is so much to do over here if you come. But all in all, a great opportunity. I may not paraglide again because um, there's so many other things to do, but I'm so glad I did it over here, you know, because if you do something for at least once in your life, at least once, do it in the best place possible. And that's here, all the Denise Beach, Fethiye, Mula province in Turkey, which is in the southern part of Turkey, in the uh, Turkish Riviera, in the turquoise coast. And with that said, catch you in the next one.